Let's run it. That booty is not safe. Yeah, man. I'm with my aunt. Fire. We should be like on top of each other with your aunt. Look, dating as a brown person is tough. There's just no other way around it. Dating apps are pretty tough and real world experiences make people think that you sound like those Indian guys from r slash people of Facebook India. The ones who talk like this and hit on you way too hard. So it's not always easy to date as a brown person. I can tell you by experience. But we gotta try and fix it. We gotta find someone who's an inspiration to the brown community. Not just the brown community, the men community. And not just the men community, the humanity community. Uh, who is a person like that, you ask? Well, I went on to Love is Blind Season 2 and I found this dude called Shake. His name is Abhishek, but he goes by Shake. And let me tell you, this man is a gentleman. He loves women. He is very kind, considerate, compassionate. He always takes his time. He listens and psych. Psych. He does none of that. He's like the worst dude I've ever seen. And so many people have requested it that I actually looked at this. And now I'm like weirdly infatuated with the show Love is Blind. But I'll tell you what, this is one of the most despicable people I've ever seen. And if you ever thought that being brown and dating is hard once you see Shake, now it's going to be impossible. So, you know, GG if you're brown. I'm single, you're single, oh my god, it's just a single Pringle world out there. Anyway, like I said, today I'm taking a look at the guy called Shake from Love is Blind Season 2. One of the most despicable characters you will ever meet, someone who is just detestable and will make your blood boil. And I am ready to show you just why I think that. Before I start the video though, please do consider subscribing. We're on our way to 500,000 subscribers and if we get to 500,000 subscribers, I'm gonna make my own plaque because YouTube doesn't send one. So <laughs> if you'd like to see that, we're only 70,000 away from it. So <laughs> that's not that much, really. And while you're at it, do follow me at 16leo underscore on Instagram. That way you can message me ideas on the new one or tell me what you think of Shake. Please, I would love to know. I love your opinion on this, honestly. But first, a word from today's sponsor Raycon. I know you guys have heard me talk about Raycon, but have you heard me rhyme about Raycon? If you want to experience bass, no cap, Raycon's got you covered and that's a fact. Need earbuds that stay when you jump or spin? I just did a shake test. These suckers stay in. I sound like ice boob. With gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds bring bass that just won't quit. 32 hours of battery life lets me listen on and on, that's real nice. At half the price of other premium brands, get them while you can cause they're in demand. Now I sound like vanilla ice, this, oh my god. These earbuds give you 8 hours of playtime. It's no wonder why Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 48,000 5 star reviews. Head to the link in my description box or buyraycon.com slash 16leo for 15% off your purchase. Thanks Raycon. Okay, now, so the premise of Love is Blind, for any of those who don't know, it's a show where people go into pods and they start talking to someone who they don't see. The whole premise of the show revolves around the fact that you can't actually see the person, you're falling in love with the personality. And as I've learned from a Shakespearean friend of mine, he said, and I quote, Leo, you can't fuck a personality. Just a very, sh just, a, just a very smart friend is what I have. But he's right, you can't. So I feel like the show is already stupid, but not only is it stupid, they actually super process the love factor. Whereas like on a show like 90 Day Fiance, you get 90 days to decide, do you want to marry this lady or man? On this show, you literally get one day. You either propose to her and get married in four weeks or you don't, bro. That's the whole show. Also, you haven't even seen her, but you got to marry her. Is, if that's not one of the stupidest premises I've ever seen in my life, I don't know what is. And like I said, this premise of the show is absolutely horrible, but it's such trash TV that I have to watch. Also, by the way, I'm gonna pretend this is my couple. Leo, Jesse. Ta -da! Oh, this is so romantic. I'm gonna show people what I would have said instead of what Shake's saying, and hopefully, we can maybe create a less toxic environment while watching this, hopefully. Do you feel like the dating world nowadays has become extremely superficial? Yes, Vanessa, who acts on NCIS and your husband who is a singer. I feel like the dating world has become superficial. You guys are gonna finally have the chance to fall in love. And when you pick the person you wanna spend the rest of your life with, 
you'll propose. You will see your fiance for the very first time. That is one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. That's like saying, hey, why don't you pay $50 and then you will see what kind of food that I actually give you. Like, bro, you just gave me a trash can and you put some mayonnaise on it and said it was food. That's not, I paid $50. I expected food, but I didn't see it. I just hate the premise that you know nothing about the person. I get what they're going for. I get that in reality, it should be all about personality. In a perfect ideal world, it's all about that. But in a realistic world, looks matter. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I feel like 90% of people can agree that looks matter. I'm not saying they matter more than personality, but they do factor into it, don't they? And four weeks later, you are at your wedding. Oh, <laughs> you have to make the most. There is. There's shake in a, looks like a Versace coat or something. He looks like he's draped in Versace. So he's already looking fire. He also says the word fire and he's 32, so he shouldn't be saying the word fire, but he does. So introduction to shake are you latina I <laughs> this is this is the first time we meet shake while we're in the pods and the pods are a place where you can't see the other person so he has to ask these questions and somehow every question he asks defeats the purpose of the whole show the show is about personality and he agreed to be on it but every question he asks somehow alludes to their physical appearance because shake is predisposed to liking their physical nature which which is already kind of ugh as a person. You are? I'm half. Latina vibes over there. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Latina vibes over there. Come on, Latina vibes. This is just, it's just weird hearing someone in their 30s say vibes. Whew, giving me the vibes, the bad vibes. I love buying clothes for girls. <laughs> That's weird, bro. Don't say that. See, again, me and Jesse, hey, Nice name. Where are you from? Uh, can you tell me about your childhood? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food, Jesse? Yeah, what's your size? <laughs> Would you like working out? Yeah, not a huge fan. Really? Yep. Ooh, I get along best with individuals that do work out. How old are you? He's coming off as someone who's very, like, forthcoming. Even though Shake may be an absolute D-bag, he still knows what he wants and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with knowing what you want. It's the way that he says it that seems really, really bad, isn't it? Hey, are you fat? Nope. Okay. Actually, to be honest, if he just said that, I'd be like, at least he's honest. 33. I prefer dating younger. How old are you? I'm 32. What's your name? My name is Deep T. So you're Indian? Yes. Oh, shit. How'd you know? Because <laughs> your name is Deep T. Come on, man. How would you not know? She's very easily impressed, but this is actually the love interest that Shake ends up with, Deep T. Or as he calls her, Deeps. And let me just say, he is in Deeps, and I shake my head every time I see him. I'm Indian. I was born in India. Serious relationships, mm -hmm. they've all been blonde. Uh, oh, really? I, I just remember moving to America, seeing two things for the first time, seeing snow. Crack and cocaine. Oh, sorry, what? Snow. Sorry, my bad. And blonde girls. You like what you like, right? I mean, you know. Yeah, I mean, you do like what you like, but if you're on a show specifically called Love is Blind, it kind of defeats the purpose of being on the show. That's like being scared of heights, and the show that you go on is called Trampoline Jumpers in Midair. Do you know what I mean? Seems kind of stupid. I'll be Shake. I go by Shake. You've never dated an Indian girl? No. So what do you do? I'm a veterinarian, actually. I'm also a house DJ. Oh my gosh, I love music. I'm a veterinarian, actually. I love that. I'm also a house DJ. Wiki wiki. What? Yes. Woo. Play that funky music, brown boy. <clears throat> what a weird slash thing to be. That's what I do, baby. To be at a music festival. Do you like being on a guy's shoulders? Yeah, you're up for the challenge, you can pick me up. <laughs> yeah, will I have trouble picking you up? Can we call a red flag right now? Do, 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 do. Red flag. <laughs> Woo. That's a red flag right there. He said it in the most manipulative, like, uh, sort of like sneakishly crappy way. I guess it would be very mean, but could you not just say, I have problem dating someone who's bigger size? That's a very shitty thing to do, but... 
if it's what it is, then it's what it is. He asked it in such a roundabout way that I hate him more. Actually, that comes off very superficial. Um, Sheikh doesn't understand how Love is Blind has to work here. The whole point is about finding out who we are as people. So that was day one in the pods. The next day, Deep T talks about Sheikh, but she seems to be falling for him or wanting to give him a chance. Sheikh changes as a man. Sight. I know that like we connect. Yeah. So the next day in the pods, it seems that Sheikh has a change of opinion. He starts becoming a changed man, and it's only episode 2. By the way, you could say you're welcome at any point. I had to watch the whole 10 episodes of this shit and water it down into this content. Oh my god, it took a long time. Ugh, I had to watch too many hours of Shake. I was shaking my fist. I'm sorry. How, how the hell am I the one who's like asking like these kind of superficial questions? Mm-hmm. This is the experiment where you're not supposed to even like, you know, think about that stuff. So Shake then begins to have like a sort of self-realization, maybe an epiphany. Yeah, oh man, maybe I am a superficial man. I actually like you deeps, but I don't know how you look. And he's having that internal struggle. And at this point, when I was watching this, I started rooting for the guy. Is this a reflection of my own body issues? You know what I mean? Kind, I, kind of is. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you shared that with me. Just love that you're being so vulnerable. It makes me so happy. I think the potential that we have here is like really great. Oh. We're going to have some smart, awesome kids. Like, I just know it. Aww. So then after Shake actually comes to terms with the fact he may be superficial, he throws those away and actually starts interacting with Deeps as a person, as a character. He does what love is blind is about. He blindly loves her until he decides to marry her. <sighs> Deep D, will you make me the luckiest man in the world and marry me? Oh my God. A thousand times yes. So it seems really nice. Sheikh gets down on one knee and he says, will you make me, and I quote, the luckiest man in the world. It really seems like Sheikh really wants this. I was rooting for this man. And now they're going to meet each other. And this is what happens. As soon as I see her, it's gonna be two hands. Boom. I already let her know. That booty is not safe. That sounds like something I would say. What the hell? That booty is not safe. I'm gonna give it an embrace. Why are you stealing my lines, bro? If you steal my lines, what do I have? You already got the looks. I think Shake does place importance on appearance, but eliminating the physical piece of it has created such a bond. I just think he's just a beautiful person inside out. Look, man, Deeps is actually a really lovely woman. I, I have really close to nothing bad to say about her because the only thing that I can think about is she might be a little naive. And who isn't? Especially when you're in love and you feel like that type of situation, you want to trust your partner. Of course. She has. She honestly does nothing to aggravate this man the whole time. She's, she's a pretty lovely girl. My test for if I can date a girl or not, which is if I can put her on my shoulders at a music festival, then she's within a physical range that, that I would date. I just love that that's his barometer for like, hey lady, come here. <clears throat> oh my God, I can date you, but you're so heavy. Holy shit. Oh my God. So they meet and instead of Shake having a bad visceral reaction to Deeps, he seems to be so into her that I was like, okay, we got a great couple. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Holy shit. Oh, look at that booty, look at that booty. He does the gentlemanly thing. He kisses her and he holds her and he grabs her by the arse cheeks. Hi. Look at that booty, look at that booty. <laughs> nice, that is, that is, A1 baby, that's classy, even something I wouldn't do. You did not just do that. I'll do it for you. <laughs> so then Shake does the one thing I think is probably the smoothest shit that I've ever seen him do. In the Indian culture, when you get married, the wife touches the husband's feet and I told him I'm not doing that because we're equals. In Indian culture, which I've just learned from her, because I, I know nothing about it. Apparently, the woman would touch the man's feet as a sign of, like, I guess, loyalty and, like, a testament to, like, I will be, you know, your thing. But it's maybe more misogynistic in, in certain lights. And in the Western culture, Deeps did not want to do that. But Sheikh decided he would do that to show his loyalty to her, 
which I think is the smoothest shit he's done. And so the fact that he touched my feet was perfect. He's perfect. Even though I've dated so many blonde girls and, and white girls in the past, Deeps is just perfect. Uh, what the yeah. hell does color have to do with it? I just, I don't think I've ever counted. I've, if someone asked me, oh, how many white girls did you date? I, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, off the top of my head, 28. <laughs> 28 white, 13 brown, 2 black, and 14 Asian. Persuasion. Like what? Please don't count the races of the, it's just, it's just so weird. A person is a person. I, I just, that's, that's really weird to me. I'm sorry. We're gonna have so much fun. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get you <laughs> Here's something you probably shouldn't whisper on the first ever meeting. How you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. Tell you something that you might like, dear. Get out of here. Alright, here, take it. Right. See you soon. Okay. By the way, don't you wish he had an Indian accent? Wouldn't it make it 25% funnier? Usually I like dating the white girls, but uh, you know. I'm not saying that. I think the Indian accent's beautiful, by the way, but I think it would be funny on him. S and D's honeymoon. I was questioning it at first, like, do I find him attractive? But I'm like, I am so in it with him. <laughs> the couples finally go on a honeymoon, and Deep T and Abhishek are actually on their honeymoon, and things are going good. Except they're not going good for some reason. I don't know what happened in between the time Sheikh decided to propose and today, but he seems to be less physically attracted to the woman he asked to marry. So everything's hunky-dory, they're kissing, they're doing the kissy-wissies by the pool. You know, something everybody does when you're in a pool, a little kissy-wissy. And then things go a little south. I think we're both ready to commit to each other and I'm excited to just what? connect with you on all these levels. All these levels. Nice. There you go, there's the face of a man who's regretting his decisions all of a sudden. You can just see his face, he looks like he's lost in Gallipoli. Do you just like want to get married and just like say fuck it? Are you excited to love me? Do you just want to get married? <gasps> he goes straight for the alcohol start. Like, he starts regretting his decisions immediately. First night together, honestly, feeling a little apprehensive. Spending that physical time touching one another and I don't know if I'm feeling the type of like body connection that I wanted to feel. That's the funniest shit I ever seen, man. He's sitting there looking like a grade B gorilla. <laughs> There's things that I said, like we're gonna get married, we're gonna have babies and stuff like that. And hearing that back, it feels really scary. Now why the fuck would you say it? Imagine you go to McDonald's and you're like, I'll have a Big Mac. And the person at the register is like one Big Mac and you're like, <gasps> hearing it back, it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> why, why would you do that, man? You're giving us all a bad name, buddy. And I, I find it hard enough to date people as it is. Nah, I mean, this is just done for me. It's over. Everybody's going to be like, oh, he's a shake. I, I'll shake these nuts in your face if you say that. <laughs> <Got he. laughs> Maybe this is a little commitment phobia rearing its head. I think Deeps is really awesome, but I don't know. I don't really feel that kind of animalistic attraction. So yeah, like he said, he doesn't feel that animalistic attraction, which is an odd thing to say for a vet. Cause it's, cause you get a little Shane dawson if you know, if you know what I mean. This man is just not completely sold on the fact that his girlfriend is someone who he's physically attracted to. So I'm not blaming Sheikh for not liking her, but I am blaming him for stringing her along the whole time. Whether you like it or not, you should have probably told her and been like, I, I don't know if I feel this connection, really. You have braces? Oh, I've had braces, okay. yeah. Okay, sorry, keep going. My first impression of Natalie is I thought this was a girl that I kicked out of a club once. There was a girl that looked just like her and she was being super annoying. Well, that's... that. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't say that. This is the first time Sheik is meeting other people of the group and that is Natalie. And she gets involved with a man named Shane. And that is another video that I'm doing on Love is Blind. So if you want to see that, like I said, in the comment section, let me know because I will do that video. It's something that I really want to do because that couple is also something to be talked about. But this is the only interaction they have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's like the number one hype girl I could ever, ever, ever hope for. Her? So then at this party where all of the couples are meeting each other, for some reason, Sheikh says probably the stupidest thing that I've heard him say. The way that he goes about phrasing this next thing, 
is pretty insensitive, to say the least. Don't do that again. <laughs> I do. I mean, not physically attracted to her. It feels like I'm with my aunt or something. Like, like don't don't hold the left. It's just really, really insensitive to be saying. And it makes you seem like a actual D-bag. And also, you know, you the minute you start saying that, people are going to start hounding on your looks and being like, you're not exactly a catch either. But how was that actually? It's good. This fire? Oh, no, 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 no. So that's Shane. Uh, Shane is known for making the funniest faces that I've ever seen a man make in my life. And again, once I do that video, if you want to see it, I actually wanted to print out all his faces because they are actually that funny. But Shane, for some reason, every now and again checks on Shake, and he tries to offer him some good advice. How is there not any intimacy with dude deeps? I don't get it. You gotta get this, you gotta try to keep up a lot of situations like that. I was, I was lights out. Yeah? I was lights out. I, was like, I knew it. Ah, uh, and the award for the worst first bump in humanity goes to... Can we play that again? That had a recoil. Oh, 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 there we go. The next day, Sheikh does what he does best and puts a woman on his neck. A woman who's already taken, by the way. But he's like, I can carry you. And if you're ever single, I have put you on my shoulders before. And I can carry you without dying. So, yeah, I bang you. Wait, this is so good. It is good. Best food we've eaten in Mexico so far. Go. Tacos. Thank you. Street tacos, those were fire. So that night they're at a dinner and uh, they're having a little nice conversation. I think the conversation is important to note that nothing is really philosophical, nothing re is really too meaningful. And again, I don't think you need to have a super meaningful conversation. I don't think your partner has to be a damn philosopher. But I feel like their convos stop at such a surface level that at some point it was gonna just not work out anyway. They seem to be just two friends. You know, in the pods, like, we talk about a lot of, like, cool things, but, like, actually doing it with you and just, like... Took the words out of my mouth. They're already taking the words out of my mouth. He, again, he said that like it's a, it's a bad thing. He just seems like, he's like, I need a problem from you, but you're so nice that you're not giving me any issues. You're making it really hard for me to want to ditch you. I feel like that's his problem. That does worry me though, honestly. What? We've been on this kind of like fairy tale vacation. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to grind. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm opening a business, I'm opening an animal hospital. A likely story, buddy. Why'd you have so much time to go on the show if you were too busy grinding? Also, an animal hospital? What is that? Where the oh. animals operate on the patients? Huh? Oh. I know exactly what an animal hospital is, you dork. I just wanted to be funny. When we get back to reality, when we start to integrate our lives together, when we start living together. And I'm here to support you in this, like, you know, career-oriented journey that you're on. At this point, I can't wait to move in together. I think this <laughs> be awesome. For some reason, Sheikh says this bullshit about, I'm going to be grinding and I hope you know that it's going to be really tough and stuff. Probably try and throw her off and probably try and make her fight. But instead, Deeps being the nice person she is is like yeah i fully get it and i'm committed to that and then he's like yeah well i i, I guess i can't wait to move in because you, you seem unproblematic so she's literally the least toxic the most nice understanding kind compassionate lady she's wifey material to be honest with you i've lived a double life because my parents were so strict and conservative fuck i'm bringing someone home not just anyone your fiance <laughs> Damn, son, this man's not even driving the car. He, he did it, man. He got the Tesla so he could sit back and sleep. I didn't expect to see that. But yeah, like Deep said, today is the day where the families meet the fiancés. It is an honor to be the first man Deep D's bringing home to her parents. First, we have Sheikh meeting Deep T's family. Hello. <laughs> she understands me. Probably better than anyone else I've ever met. Our dignity, our honor, our respect is yours. Yeah. And you have for the hundredth time. Hey man, I'm on your side, Shake. You want to date a, uh, a thickum? You want to date one of the curvy ladies? You want to date a lady who looks like a racetrack? 100% agree with you. Go ahead, man. I'm superficial to a degree. I'm sure you are. I think most people are. I'm with you in that regard. But do not let this woman who's off. Just a beautiful soul. Do not let her on the hook like that. Do not lead her on. She deserves the time and attention and affection of someone who is willing to treat her right. You know? I do want to ask 
about how you two met, though. So my grandma calls my mom and says he's a great guy. It was just like you're gonna. You show up. Show up. So then, um, this is something that I wanted to bring up. I kept it in for this reason. We're talking about brown culture here. We're talking about arranged marriages, and not everybody has that because we're in the Western culture, but. It's quite a prevalent thing where you actually had an arranged marriage. In fact, it's so prevalent that my granny and my grandfather had an arranged marriage. She was 17 and she didn't really know him and she's still with him. And in that marriage, people don't believe in divorces. They don't believe in that choice. And, and, and the woman didn't have the choice. In Western culture, it's very easy to be like, oh, that's so backwards. Because I think we all can think, yes, it is backwards. The woman deserves the damn choice. I'm in full agreement with that. But in Eastern culture, and it's still going on to this day, the lady doesn't have the choice. And that is just how they live. That is how they do things. Does it work? Possibly. Are they in love? Sometimes not. But it's something of convenience. And I think that's an important thing to note because this culture is different from other cultures. And in most other cultures, this is not a thing. So because it's a thing and because there is a lack of choice from women and Deeps is a brown lady. She's making this choice and she wants it to be a right choice. So Sheikh is doing her a, a huge disservice by not being the one for her. It means that the decision that she made on her own might have backfired. And, you know, maybe her parents are like, well, this is why you should have gotten a range marriage or something to that effect. I just thought it was something that I wanted to add in this video because I think it's, it's an important part of our culture. Now I've met an Indian girl that's really blown me up. Well, I feel good about myself today. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> I just put that there. Uh, that's not what he actually said, but I just wanted to make it sound like, well, now I've met an Indian girl that's blowing me, and then she's like, well, I've done my job today. I was going to ask you, how was the whole experience not getting to meet? So who zeroed in on who first? I think he did. <laughs> You're never going to be able to put each other through all the tests. The question is whether the other person is going to be there for you. I think that uh, Sheikh's mom is absolutely correct. And it sort of aligns with my own personal values of when you find that person. And this is what I truly believe with that with all sincerity. When you find the person that you really want to be with for maybe the rest of your life or whatever, when you find that person, it's not about finding the perfect person because you <laughs> that doesn't exist. It's about finding someone you absolutely love so much that you're willing to go through anything for and with them. It's someone you love so much that you don't think that they have no flaws, but instead you accept them for their flaws because... You just want to be with them in time and company and space. And I think that is when you find the person that you will be with. That's what I believe. So I think uh, Sheikh's mom has a really good point and probably a really good head on her shoulders. This is not a very normal way of marrying. That makes me very nervous. God! Holy molas! Look at that house! What, is, what the shit do they do? What do Sheikh's parents do? Do they shake down people for money? She's a like a beautiful girl, and I'm just not feeling necessarily the kind of like like overwhelming instinctual attraction or animalistic attraction. So Sheikh then talks to his mom and he says, you know, she's a beautiful girl. And this is how Sheikh prefaces everything. He has like a hundred compliments and he's like, but I'm not really attracted to her. Being very frank, I'm very much identifying with her right now more than you. And she could find someone who absolutely yeah. loves her the way she is. And she's a wonderful person. And I do. She doesn't deserve someone who gives her even half a percent less. Damn. I thought the mom was going to be on his side. The mom came out, she's like, yeah, actually, bruh. Yeah, she doesn't deserve your bitch ass, bro. A week away from the wedding. So this is the moment when Sheikh decides to sort of try and tell Deeps that he feels that there needs to be more of a connection. Between you and me, the physical part of the relationship, like, we should be, like, on top of each other nonstop, right? I like how he does, he does the hand movement to, like, explain to her. See, we're like this. We should be, like, you know? I have no clue what happened, but we have not had sex yet. We are not physical in that way. I mean, I don't have any clue either, and I feel really sorry for you, Deeps. I feel so sorry. He didn't actually give you the courtesy of being like, this is how I feel. 
And now you're left in the dark wondering what is it that I've done to make you feel the way that you feel. But it's not your fault, Deeps. It's becoming overshadowed by this emotional connection. It's becoming really overshadowed by it. That's something every girl wants to hear. Hey, Jesse, I love you emotionally that it doesn't even matter how ugly your fucking face is. Jesus Christ, put a bag over your head. L something that every girl wants to hear. It just makes a woman's heart tinkle when you're like, hey, you know, your personality is so good that your looks don't matter. I love coming. That's what you ultimately want. That's like the real prize. You're damn right it is. <laughs> I love coming. Home to her and then coming to terms with the fact that I don't like you as like a person and how you look. That's kind of weird. You have a weird look in the face over there. In the Indian culture for thousands and thousands of years, there's been arranged marriages and those arranged- So now comes the footing of the bride and groom. And Deeps talks to her friends and Sheikh talks to his friends. This scene is only funny for one reason, and it's not Sheikh. Sheikh has a friend who looks like he seriously wants to murder him. Just take a look and see if you can figure out which friend I'm talking about. Arranged marriages. And there's arranged marriages. It's just the face of a disdained man who's just like... What'd you say about Deeps? An incredibly high success rate. You're matched not based on how you feel and like a lust. Look at his face. He looks like he... My God, man. I've never seen a friend look at me like they either want to intensely kiss me or kill me. Like, what is this fuck, Mary Ann kill? What? Come on, bro. Five days until the wedding, and Shane and Sheikh meet up again for their annual conversation slash therapy session. We connect on so many levels, except for the physical level. But do you think that it stems back from you just in the pods when you were like always still like wondering about certain things and looks, looks, looks all the time? I feel like I'm with a family member sometimes. Why do you keep saying that? Is that a punchline? Does she actually remind you of your aunt? Can I please see the photo of your aunt? Can I put you? Because you must want to really bang your aunt if you tried to marry this lady who looks that much like her. You know, it's like the young thug lyric. I used to want to fuck my auntie. You can look it up. It's in the song Tussin by Navin Young Thug. You got a real young thug over here. What have you done to try to make it better? Let me ask you this back. What can be done when you feel this particular way, right? You got to spice it up somehow, man. With your aunt? Stop! Saying it. Why don't you stop with your way and listen to my way once and just try it. And your way just to, to be concise is to uh, turn off the lights, take five <laughs> shots and, and go for it. Do something. Yeah, Shane's way is actually somehow better. I'm gonna bang this woman until I like her. That's Shane's really good advice. I'm not sure it's good advice. It sounds like frat boy advice, but it's somehow better than calling someone your aunt. So Shane slightly is still giving good advice. I said, you know, I want to fuck you emotionally before I actually fuck you. Can we quote that? Can we have that as a quote? Can we have inspirational music over that one and play that one more time? I said, you know, I want to fuck you emotionally before I actually fuck you. Before I find out you're good in bed, I want to find out you're good in head. Before I take you out to a special dinner, I want to show you my special wiener. How could I know? if I want to marry Deeps, if I don't have sex with her. Grade A logic from a grade A man right there. How can I figure out if I like this woman if I don't even bang her? How can I figure out if I like her? But I'm getting married to her tomorrow. But like, how can I figure it out if I don't know? Now is the wedding. Today is my wedding day. What's missing? I don't feel that kind of instinctual physical attraction that I feel like. God, <laughs> they were like, sir, you, you know, you're staring so hard at the camera last time you did it. Um, the cameraman actually quit his job. He said, you know, I've seen that in the eyes of the devil. And I, I just I can't work here anymore. So if you could wear some glasses, I'm an only child. But today is not just about me. It's about Deep D also. What in the absolute God church does that mean? Are you that self-conceited? Guess what? I'm an only child. You give a bad name not only to brown people, but only children as well. Dude, do you just want to ruin my life personally? Because if you do, I'll give you my number. Just try me, bro. They say you have to be selfish and think about yourself. And I think that's true. But I, I also think, you know, when it comes to marriage, that's, that's the day you stop thinking about just yourself. Actually... That's not the day you start thinking about other people. You could do it even before you put a ring on someone's finger. Contrary to popular belief, you can care about other people well before you try and fuck one of them. Oh my god! 
Aisha. To make matters worse, Deep's parents are just so happy and so proud of her and so in love that it hurts me even more. You can see that Deep's dad is like ecstatic and he just really wants this wedding to happen. And it makes me feel even sadder to know what Shake is thinking. I know what I'm going to say today and let's see how it goes. So the wedding commences and Sheikh comes out with the whole crew. He's mobbing with the crew as they play that. Umbrella. Did I get it right? Did I get it right in the comments? Oh my god. <laughs> he was looking at Shake's friends and they're like, Yeah, buddy, you get him. Go get him, tiger. And then it cut to the dude wearing a yellow shirt. He looks like I've planted a bomb on you. And as soon as you say no to her, I will press it. Shit will hit the fan, bro. Honestly, what the fuck is this dude? He looks like he's ready. He's ready for action. Shake, if you say one thing wrong to my sister, I will I will I will castrate you. Oh, <laughs> kind of weird. I mean, not really. He lacks emotional intelligence to the point that his wife is in a wedding dress and he's like, Damn, bro, you look hot, G. It feels like Sheikh only ever feels attracted to Deeps when she's like fully dressed up because the only two times he's ever expressed any physical attraction to her is when they first met Hi. and now when she's wearing her wedding dress oh God. i've always maintained like the image of i think that the girl that i date usually and the ones that i have dated look the best wearing sweats and they don't need makeup and they don't need to dress up because i think they're beautiful just by existing it's kind of sad, like when, when you break down the way that he said it and why he said it, it's kind of sad. Deepti and Abhishek are going through the holy ceremony of marriage. Now is the time to decide if the love is blind. Oh, <laughs> yes, my pastor. What a dude, I love him. Deepti, do you take Abhishek to be your husband? No, I cannot marry you. I deserve somebody who knows for sure. I'm choosing myself, I'm gonna say no. That is a fantastic decision, Deeps. I support it 100%. And it's kind of weird that it took to the altar for her to decide, but I'm pretty sure that was the show telling her to do that. I'm glad that she made that decision. I'm glad that she made it by herself without it being a messy breakup, and I'm glad that this man didn't hurt her into making that decision. It's super gratifying to know that she realized her own worth without having other people or someone break her heart in order to achieve that. So... Round of applause, honestly. Good stuff, Deeps. He's not the one for me. Because if he was, he would make me feel like I was the one. And he never did that. And unfortunately, I hate to say it, but Sheikh is actually so sad that he starts crying at the altar. He breaks down and he actually gets on his knees and he says that I wish I had another chance. He actually crawls to the parents and says, can you give me one more chance? And um, I was lying. He doesn't do any of that stuff. Watch this reaction. We're still good though. Yo, this is a celebration. Let's run it. Hey, everybody up. Have you ever seen a marriage where someone said no that ended in the groom being the happiest person ever? I just never thought that was a thing. Do you take this man to be your husband? No. Hell yes. DJ, play that shit to the wall. There's a sweat drop down my bar. We're going to be partying through till tomorrow because I don't work till Monday. She will definitely be my friend. She'll definitely be my friend. Are you sad? The person who asked that sounded actually concerned. Are you sad? Like, even a little bit? Part, part of me is upset. Part of me is upset. But like, it's a net positive. Like overall, there's so much more positive emotion. God damn, this is the coldest shit I've ever seen in my life. Calling your marriage a net positive is the funniest shit I've ever heard. He really did not want to get married. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Put that Jay-Z on. I got 99 problem, but a bitch ain't one. Hit me. It's probably for the best, man, you know. Thank God I didn't have to say anything. And, you know, and 
like very transparent. I was the one that was more on the fence. Now we can have the shit talking. Thank God I was the one who didn't have to say no. Thank God she rejected me, so I come off looking a little better. Because real realistically, I thought she was ugly. I understand Shakes a person. I don't want to uh, make him seem like this is the only thing he is. Because on the off chance, Shake is watching this. I don't think you're a bad person. Believe it or not, I really don't think he's a bad person. I think he's misunderstood in a lot of ways. But I think the way that he comes off, honestly, seems... Like, he's much worse of a person than he is. And I know that he wants the best for Deeps, but the way that he goes about it is not good. It's not clever. It's not enticing. It's not romantic. And it's not charming. It's really alarming, bro. You know? <laughs> <laughs> to make matters worse, he also... I, I caught him checking out another lady while he was laughing, which I just found really funny. At the wedding, he's like, <laughs> I'm fine. Ooh. He doesn't deserve me. The clip ends with Deep saying he doesn't deserve me, which, as I said, 100% correct. Couldn't agree with you more, Goal. You go get him. But it also ends with Shake saying this. It'll be fine. I'm excited to just get back in the normal swing of things and um, not have reservations at Nobu on Sunday, so things are going to be good. And that is how it ends. I have to get back into fitness, and I have plans at Nobu on Sunday, so I'll be fine. That's it. That is the end of Shake and Deeps. Now, there is one more episode, which is the reunion. And I will look at that in a separate video because the reunion is worth its own video. It's worth a look on its own. But for now, this is the love story that ended between Deeps and Shake. Was it a good love story? Fuck no. Why? Because one person was not in it. One person was basically out of the relationship as soon as it started, and the other person was oblivious. I think his lack of communication skills and constant talking behind Deeps' back make him a really crappy person, or at least on the show he comes off as someone who's pretty crappy, even though he tries his hardest to like her. So I need to give him a little bit of credit there. But at the same time, the way that he acted with her is really bad, because it's not every day you find someone who's so forgiving and so wonderful. When it comes to Deeps, like I said, I really don't have much bad to say about her, except that she might have been a little too naive. And that happens. I feel like dating has become really tough, and you just want to believe and give the person the benefit of the doubt. But unfortunately, when dating, I believe that you need to keep your guard up. I really don't think four weeks is enough time to get married and have everything be speed run. Because it's just probably not the right solution. So, yeah. That is the amazing love story between the two. That's all I have to say. And I guess in the future, I, the only thing that I can say is that if you're dating someone, talk to them. I think communication is a really important tool. And if you don't have that, you don't have anything. Because love isn't blind. Love is blurry. And that is a joke that Shake says in the next episode. So you're going to have to watch the next episode and the reunion, which is coming out soon. Hopefully you liked this video. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about the saga. Tell me what you think about the series. Do you like it? Subscribe. One more time, 500k, and I make my own plaque. And until then, I will see you. I am off to try and date someone on Bumble. It's an app where you fuck bees. All right, bye-bye. Yeah,